hey guys welcome to my tutorial series on java top interview questions so in this video i'm going to cover thread life cycle which is a very important question in java in lot of interviews this question is being asked so that's the end of this uh, this video so i'm going to explain that thread introduction then thread life cycle so there are some ways in which we can create thread that will i, I will explain using eclipse and then at the last the top questions related to thread in java okay so let's get started so yep what is a thread so thread a thread is a lightweight sub process of a process we can create any number of threads in single process so as you see on the screen we have this java program where we have four threads are running so this java program is a process which have four threads which are running in this program so, so thread is basically a sub process which runs in parent process so we can take any example for that any java program for that okay so let's talk about the thread life cycle so thread life cycle have these states new runnable then waiting state time waiting blocked and terminated okay so let's talk about each one state so the new state will come whenever you create a thread let's say you created a class which is a thread and then you initialized it but you have not used the start method to start that particular thread so it means the thread is in new state it means it is just initialized okay so whenever you use start method of the thread object then it will come to the runnable state it means the run method of the thread will be executed okay so after the run method of the thread is executed so there are four states where it can goes to first is waiting state the waiting state will come when you call wait method of thread so it will goes to the waiting state okay so it can wake up from the waiting state when you use notify or notify all method as you can see on the screen so notify is used to wake up one thread notify all is used to wake up all the threads which are in the waiting state so they will again come to the runnable state okay so the fourth state in the thread life cycle is timed waiting so timed waiting will happen when you keep some you call the sleep method and then you pass some millisecond into the sleep method as a parameter so thread will goes to the timed waiting state it means it will wait for some time interval that you have passed into the sleep or wait method so let's say you want to wait your thread for 5 seconds so you you passed 5000 into as a parameter of the sleep or wait method then after 5 second it will wake up again it will come to the runnable state so now let's talk about the blocked state so thread can come into the block state it generally happen when we have a uh, you can take the example of io operation so whenever you created a thread and then that particular thread needs some information from any text file any type of the file so for that operation we need io input output object so it the thread will be blocked at that time so thread will wait to the io operation when it will be completed then it come to the renewable state again so at that time period the thread will be into the block state so okay so the last state is terminated this is the last phase of the thread life cycle this will happen when your thread is completed so it completed the task it means we have it means uh, the thread run method is executed some successfully so so if you worked on the thread so first we call the start we initialize the thread and then we call the start method after that it call the run method so whenever the run method is completed successfully it means the thread task is completed so 
terminated state will come whenever whenever it executed all the statement into the gun method that will uh, that i will explain uh, in my next video how we can do that how we can call start method and how we can override the gun method and different ways in which we can create threads so these are the basic uh, thread life cycle phases so that's all for this video in my next video i will discuss all other um, like the different ways in which we can create thread using eclipse and top question related to thread in java so see you next video bye bye